Polk State College Collegiate High School graduates, congratulations on your graduation. I am Dr. Angela Garcia Falconetti, your president, and I wish I could be with you in person celebrating. All of us do at Polk State. You've persevered during this unprecedented time to see your goals through, and you are truly part of a unique and resilient class. Remember, Eagle soar. You are always part of the Polk State College family. Congratulations. Good evening, and welcome to Polk State College Chain and Lace Collegiate High School virtual celebration. I am the principal of Chain and Lace Collegiate High School, Dr. Keith Bonney. Graduates, it is an honor to be the first to congratulate you on your accomplishments. This is one of our largest college honor graduates and high school honor graduates with 143 with 81 also have earned the designation of principal scholar, having a final weighted grade point average of 4.0 or higher. The average number of college credits earned by the class of 2020 is 58 per student. The class earned just shy of $3 million in scholarship money and performed 30,000 community hours. Class of 2020, you brought us reports of many future careers and work-based learning experience. You have been accepted at different colleges and universities throughout the state of Florida and beyond. You have continued a pattern of excellence that has resulted in a high level of community respect for your soon to be high school alma mater. In the last several years, we have been ranked number one for all 411 public high schools in all of Florida for high school cohort graduation rate. The Florida Department of Education has named COL a high performing charter school and a school of excellence. It is the ninth year in a row that our graduation rate has been 100% and our SAT and ACT scores are again above in the county, state, and national average. We once again earn a school grade of an A. You have continued a tradition of success in many great ways. I hope that you will look to your past success as you build on them as we've encouraged the 1,700 plus previous COL graduates before you. I am so proud to have been your principal for the past year of your high school career. COVID-19 has affected our students in some form, whether it be performance, productivity, or morale. But we all know that tough times don't last. People do. Class of 2020, you are to be commended for your efforts during this unprecedented time. A record 113 out of 154 CO seniors will acquire their AA degree by summer 2020. That's nearly 75% of the class amidst these trying times, which is absolutely incredible. You truly stay connected to the goals of our school, rigorous academic achievement, and committed service to the community. You allowed our faculty and staff to pave a way for you to thrive and excel. For all you have accomplished, I say thank you for once again pushing that bar just a little bit higher for those that will follow you at COL. To the COL staff who are second to none, a staff who didn't mind stepping up when we were suddenly taken out of our normal routine due to unforeseen circumstances. You quickly made the adjustments, shifting your classes online, readjusting your work schedule and lesson plans to accommodate our students. To a staff who don't mind coming to work, even when they're caretakers for their gravely ill spouses, they come to work. They come to work when some of them are dealing with life-threatening illnesses of their own, they come to work. Some travel every weekend to be caretakers for their elderly parents. And lastly, to a staff who gives great effort and does workloads far beyond the scope of their job requirements. And for that, I want to say I thank you. To our CEO consultants, Mr. Jerry and Ms. Shelba Lawhorn, thank you for your leadership, guidance, and sometimes high intensity Thank you for your assistance in helping COL run smoothly, effectively, and purposefully. To the Polk State College, Dr. Falconetti, the Polk State Board of Trustees, Dr. Lee Thomas, and the President's staff, thank you for supporting and helping COL run smoothly and effectively. And to our COL parents, thank you for entrusting your children and, and the support you have given us over the past two years through committee participation, such as site committee, fundraising committee, business partner committees, or simply your kind words of appreciation. Seniors, give your parents a well-deserved, heartfelt thank you. When rampant uncertainty floods our planet, as we face unprecedented obstacles, we have learned how quickly that our world can change and how tenuous our stability in the last several weeks. Doing good seems effortless when life carries on as usual, but it becomes difficult when a virus throws the whole world into tumult. Simple tasks becomes a challenge, and normal routines are hindered at every turn. See all students and parents, please know that we feel your pain and disappointment. I also have a CEO senior in this class. We would like nothing more than to have our normal events such as prom, grad bash, awards night, 
in our graduation celebration. Parents, please know that we value your partnership because it truly takes a village to raise a child. Because of support and collaboration with our COO parents, Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School has earned many high academic achievements and accolades down through the years. Stay with us, parents. Pray with us, parents, and we can get through these unprecedented times together. Thank you, COL parents. Congratulations, COL class of 2020. Deputy Holberson wishing you all the best. So proud of each and every one of you and all of your accomplishments. Soar Eagles. And congratulations, class of 2020. So proud of you. You finally made it. Go off and do some incredible things and come back and see us. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm wishing you all the best in this next chapter of your lives. Goodbye. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have overcome this year. I just wanted to leave you guys with a couple of words of encouragement. In the coming years, you're going to have the opportunity to be successful, but you're also going to encounter moments when it's a little bit more difficult. And I just want to encourage you that in all things, to give it your best. Don't grow weary, but try in all moments, and you'll see that you will overcome and succeed the way you have this year. Again, congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. You made it, and I'm so proud of you. I have a few parting words as you move forward with your adventures. Here they are. Drink plenty of water, eat your vegetables, try to get at least seven hours of sleep. Do your best not to push the limits of the 1159 deadline. Always take time to breathe, admire nature, heck, even paint some happy trees. Everybody needs a friend. No matter how quickly you complete an assignment and you worry over its quality, Always remember that the design team for, the, for Avatar chose the papyrus font and thought it was a good job. When you're feeling down, channel English Grandma and bake yourself some cookies. I don't care how tempting it is. Google is not research. Stop abusing the apostrophe. There is no war in Bossing Say. My cabbages! My cabbages! My cabbages! Yes, Hannah, that is Nicholas Cage. Okay, thanks, bye. It's my distinct honor to tell you the COL Senior Awards for our graduating class. And the first set of awards are the Principal's Award, which goes this year too. Gemini Golly, happy early birthday by the way, he'll be 16 tomorrow, and Kenna Yale. Next, our COL Honor Walk Award recipients. They are Nicholas Christian Tony and Leah May Shira. Next, the Eileen Holden Achievement Award. This year goes to Jocelyn Torres Garcia. Congratulations. Next is the American Legion Medal and Certificate. Going this year to Robin Ryan Coley, Savannah Raylene Rye, Heather Renee Thomas, and Clayton Kai Young. Next, our COL Leadership Award. The two recipients are Simeon Samuel Newman, Gwyneth Anna Taylor. Congratulations. The Amber Shaw Scholarship Award goes this year to three deserving recipients. Paulina Farias, Hannah Marie Montoya, and Victoria Elizabeth Ramjet. And finally, we'd like to recognize our Silver Garland nominees, who are in art, Savannah Taylor, in athletics, Dania Flood, in citizenship, Camille Campbell, communication, Gwyneth Taylor, English, Isabella Spruill, 
Mathematics, Robin Coley. Performing Arts, Caitlin Watkins. Science, Sydney Slagle. And Vocational, Kenna Yale. Congratulations to each and every one of those award recipients. Thank you. Class of 2020, family and friends of the graduates and colleagues, my name is Dr. Suzanne Ramjatton Halverson, and I'm a science professor, HOSA, future health professional advisor, and STEM professor at Polk State Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School. I am so excited to be here this evening. I have the honor to introduce Chain of Lakes of 2020 salutatorian Ms. Leah May Shira. Over the past two years, Leah has soared as a scholar, leader, and as a, and as a future health professional. At this time, I would like to highlight her growth in leadership and service, which have fostered her passion as a future health professional. As Secretary of HOSA, Future Health Professionals, Leah collaborated with COL HOSA Executive Board members to cultivate community service events. As a result, Leah and the members of the HOSA board members were able to participate in many community service events, which include American Heart Association Walk, Polk State College Annual Fall Fest, Polk State College Foundation Jogging for the Noggin, Heartland for Children, Rudolph Roundup Toy Drive, and the American Cancer Society Relay for Life. Furthermore, in 2019, as a HOSA competitor, Leah, along with another HOSA member, competed, as, <clears throat> competed at HOSA Suncoast Region Conference in CPR and First Aid. Leah and her teammate prepared for real-life scenarios utilizing skills that consisted of basic life support, applying basic first aid, identifying medical emergencies, and initiating the emergency medical services. In 2020, Leah competed at HOSA Suncoast Region Conference in Medical Terminology. Leah independently studied this new language, which is considered the universal language for future health professionals. Leah paved her path to become a future health professional by successfully accomplishing two semesters of college level human anatomy and physiology. Leah expressed how her professor's love for the medical field inspired her to further pursue a career in medicine, and she learned so much each semester. Not only did Leah learn about anatomy and physiology, but she has been able to connect concepts in real world med medical issues and plans to, per to use the acquired skills for her future in medicine. Most importantly, Leah has continuously demonstrated qualities as a future health professional, such as being attentive to detail, kind hearted, compassionate, demonstrating excellent communication skills, and always expressing a caring attitude to others. In fact, the demands of her academic classes and gaining experiences as an active member in COL National Honor Society, volunteering at Mount Olive Baptist Church, Polk City Community Library, and completing her work-based learning internship at Comprehensive Cardiovascular Specialist have all strengthened Leah's academic goals as a future health professional. Her parents, Mr. James and Ms. Brenda Shira has been influential, influential in her life and provided continuous support and motivation navigating Leah's path to success. Overall, our salutatorian will continue to soar at Polk State College in the field of nursing to become an, aspi an aspiring physician. Please join me in welcoming Polk State Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School 2020 class salutatorian whose grade point average is 4.648, Miss Leah May Shira.
Hello, my fellow classmates, graduating class of 2020. I can't tell you what an honor it is to give this speech as your salutatorian. We've worked so hard for this moment. 12 years spent dreaming of the day we walk across the stage, receive our diplomas, and shake hands with some of those who have made our journey possible. But despite our circumstances, we are graduates today. I am continuing my educational journey here at Polk State College in the nursing program. I hope to one day become a doctor and save lives, changing the world one person at a time. But now I'd like to give credit where credit is due. I would never be where I am today without God. When I win and when I lose, I turn to God. I can't stand here before you today without also thanking my family and friends, especially my parents for their love and support. When I needed a shoulder to cry on, my friends cried with me. When I needed to go to the store for project supplies at the last minute, my mom drove me. When I finally finished my homework at 3 a.m., my mom was always there to tell me I did great while my dad was telling me to go to bed. I have learned so many lessons from my parents and grandparents that make me the person I am today. One of the most important is anything worth earning in life comes from hard work and dedication. Others have always said, Leah is so smart and school comes so easy for you. Many people didn't see the late night hours I spent working on assignments and projects. They didn't see the parties and family time I missed because I needed to study for exams. They didn't see my handshake as I walked to class, hoping I would have what it takes to be successful. We have all worked hard for this, and even if we feel like no one noticed along the way, we are being celebrated today. I am blessed to be here, and I will always be grateful that when the world gets heavy, I have people that inspire me to stand taller. There are so many things I'm sure we'll all remember about high school. The truth is there's too many things to put in this speech, but I can name a few being ready to go to sleep, but still having a list of assignments to complete, using the guess and hope method in math, laughing with friends and stressing about exams, walking through the halls, hearing students say things like that's due today. Think about how you felt on the first day of high school and how you feel now. It's a different feeling. Many things have changed, and this is just one more transition in our lives. You never realize what you have until it's gone and you never miss something until you don't have it any longer. This is one of those times. We'll miss each other and the endless memories we made here. I hope you all look back on your high school experience and think to yourself that you wouldn't have done anything different. Enjoy this moment because we have finally made it to what we have been waiting for. Enjoy it because it's happening now. One day we'll all be a story, so let's make it a good one. There's one thing for certain, no one will forget the class of 2020, but what will they remember? Will they remember that we were the quarantine class or will they talk about how far we've come and how far we'll go from this point in our lives? That's up to us. Hard work and dedication are extremely important for success in life, but having good morals and good people to support you make winning the victory well worth it. The truth is 10 years from now, you may not remember the formula for the Pythagorean theorem, you may not remember the entire Gettysburg Address, and you may not remember everything you memorized the day before your final exam, but you will remember this moment, and you'll have this memory forever. Before we part ways and become amazing people in the world, I'd like to say a few words that we should all remember as we step forward once again on another journey. Remember that actions speak louder than words. You are what you do, not what you say you'll do. In this world, you can be anything you want to be. So choose to be kind, because how we treat people, it matters. You may have regrets in this life, but you will never regret being kind. Life is not about how much money you make, how many awards you earn, or how popular you are. Don't lose sight of the most important things in life. Remind yourself of who you are and who you want to be. No one can stop you but yourself. Think about what makes you smile, what makes you happy, and embrace it. When we were born, the world grieved over 9-11, and now the world grieves over a pandemic. We all have bad days, and there will surely be more of those to come. But even on your worst day, remember how blessed you are. When your day is bad and you feel discouraged, try to treat the world better than it treated you. Remember that it's just a bad day, not a bad life. When the fire comes, some people get lost in it, but I believe that we will be the ones who are built from it. Life is tough, but so are we. We worked for this. We earned this. 
So finally, congratulations to the graduate class of 2020. We made it. Thank you so much, Leah. That was awesome. And once again, I'm Dr. Peter James Preston, your guidance counselor and academic team coach. And I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our valedictorian, our Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School valedictorian for this unprecedented and especially difficult year of 2020. Has been an exemplary student and an exemplary young lady for quite a long while now in so many areas beyond the purely academic. Graduating with a weighted GPA of 4.697, and of course, along the way, earning her Associate of Arts degree with a perfect 4.0. It's almost a minor sidelight to this young person's accomplishments. She has said herself that collegiate is a great program full of opportunities. I would be hard pressed to find a collegiate student who has done more to express that sentiment more fully. She has continued to be an athletic superstar, playing soccer and captaining her local competitive team to state championships, competing in track and field, and playing golf at an extremely high level. In fact, one of the plethora of scholarships she has earned on her path towards the University of Florida is for golf, along with a Lakeland Elks Lodge scholarship and so many others. She plans to study sports management at UF, and they are quite lucky to have her. But apart from all these accolades and academics and athletics, on just a personal note, she has always been a wonderful, personable, and absolutely delightful young lady to work with as her school guidance counselor and advisor on her academic path and as just a fellow Chain of Lakes Collegian. Ladies and gentlemen, and most especially her fellow students joining us in virtual settings everywhere, it is my pleasure to introduce to you your Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School 2020 class valedictorian, Ms. Dania Flood. Hello everyone and good evening. I would like to thank Polk State, all of our Chain of Lakes faculty and staff, and the seniors before us for befriending and motivating us from the second we stepped foot on campus as nervous, and clueless juniors who suddenly felt like freshmen again. The warm welcome that comes with the school and program is so special. And I think I can speak for all of my fellow classmates when I say the candy in the chart lab was just one of the many signs of pure appreciation, encouragement, and care that is continually radiated toward us at Chain of Lakes. And thank you to all of our friends and family who have been cheering us on from the sidelines throughout this entire journey that is high school. We thank you. Now speaking to my class of 2020. I'm sure most of us didn't think this day would actually come, but look where we are now. We did it. Finally graduating from high school in our favorite pajamas, sitting in our living room, just like we always dreamt we would. Our senior year is when we feel like we're on top of the world. We're seniors, baby. But we are confronted with the constant pursuit of procrastination, senioritis, family members questioning our every move with love, of course. College applications, scholarships, global pandemics, and 1159. In my opinion, I think our year has been especially testy. But I'm not here to talk about all the priceless moments we have unfortunately missed out on like senior prom, grad bash, a normal graduation, graduation parties, spring sports, banquets, and just this precious time that is meant to be spent with our friends who we may have to part from come fall. <laughs> but we have truly persevered. And if there is one thing to take away from this speech is the following. Deserata. My grandfather would read this poem by Max Ehrman to himself every morning before work for 40 years. It begins with, Go placidly amid the noise and haste, and remember what peace there may be in silence. I trust and hope that with all the time we have on our hands now, you can later finish reading this poem that holds such incredible wisdom and meaning to my family. With our everyday lives coming to a halt with social distancing, don't forget to the peace within it all and value this extra time with your family before embarking on our next adventure. 
All of this has only made us stronger. We made it. This is happening. We are high school graduates and we have succeeded. Hold your head high and be proud of yourself for your accomplishments are being recognized. Before I go, I would like to briefly talk about what is to come. Our future is ahead with all of its possibilities and open doors. Take advantage of them. Strive for greatness through new opportunities. Continue to learn from your mistakes and grow from your experiences. This is only the beginning. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Patrice Bryant Thigpen, Assistant Principal at Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School. <clears throat> to our illustrious, outstanding COL class of 2020, my first graduating class in my position as Assistant Principal, I want to thank you for welcoming me with open arms and allowing me to play a small supporting role in your senior year. I really appreciate each of you fully accepting me into the COL family. This has truly been an unforgettable year. When you started school 13 years ago, you were likely wide-eyed and amazed by the new experience of going to school. As you grew older, you began to realize education is an important means to an end. Somewhere along the line, you learned that attending COL would make it possible for you to get to that end a little faster. So you set your sights on enrolling at COL. Upon your acceptance, you embrace the uncertainty of leaving familiar faces and places to undertake the challenge of an accelerated program. <clears throat> you accepted the challenge and adapted to the new campus, the new people, the heavier course loads, and the newfound freedom. Even when your days were cloudy and filled with doubt, you were focused, serious-minded, and you got it done. You did it. The health crisis the world is battling is keeping us from celebrating your accomplishments as we traditionally would have. Yes, that is an unthinkable disappointment, but it is also yet another dark cloud. As you have done before and will do again, Keep pushing your way through when the skies are gray. After all, the sun always shines after the storm is over. This storm does not diminish your shine. So take this time not only to celebrate your academic achievements, but to celebrate a sunset in your life's journey, as well as a bright new sunrise. Celebrate your health and celebrate the bonds you share with your families and other influential people in your lives. And don't forget to do what you can to help others. Focusing on those important aspects is what will bring you happiness and see you through to the other side. You have prepared a strong foundation. Now it is time for you to stand on it with confidence and conviction. We know you have it in you. We are eagerly anticipating your great contributions to this world. You are eagles and you will soar. Now to all who are watching in your respective places, it is my pleasure to present the graduating class of Polk State Chain of Lakes High School. Olivia Grace Abare. Jenna K. Acevedo. Karen Acuna. Jada Kalis Adams. Justin Kamal Armstead Adams. <clears throat> Manuel Augusto Arbana Avila. Dianalis Arias. Vincent Cooper Arredondo, Hannah Danielle Barrow, Madeline Ray Bearden, 
Brianna Ray Bennett. Alessandra Faye Beavis. Brianna Elizabeth Blaschke. Angel Nicole Brager. Joshua Austin Lee Brooks. Cameron Linnell Burke. Braley Burns. Camilla Aliana Campbell. Juan Cesar Carvajal Cervantes. And Lise Yain Shapiro Lopez. Shapiro Lopez, excuse me. Tyler Edward Clampett. Angelica Cassandra Claremont. Robin Ryan Coley. Eric Maximilian Collins. Harley Palmer Constant. Cassandra Lee Correa. John Mark Corivo. Angela Isabel Coto. Jacqueline Baya Cuevas. Abigail Elizabeth Cunningham Elizabeth Gabrielle Cunningham Anna Dinas Alejandra Delgado Alora Shea Deming Sierra Autumn Dennis. Aaron Renee DePriest. Maris J. DeRoche. Madison Marie Dills. Connor Mason. Edmonds Jacob Michael Earl Natalie Escobedo Vasquez Lexi Ray Esham Paulina Farias Kendall Elena Farrow Dania Rasmia Flood Gemini Scott Golly Taylor Marie Hall Olivia Taylor Hancock Micah James Hadley Mackenzie Michael Harris Tori Janae Harrison Tony, I'm sorry Shane William Harvey
Jaden Page Hash. Landon Graham Herzog. Destiny Nicole Hess. Tyler Nicole Hollis. Miguel Angel Hurtado. Kaylin Patricia Johns. Aaron Cecilia Jones. Jakiah Z. Kendrick. James J. King. Megan Ashley Kobunski. Brandon Samuel Labonte. Hayden Christopher. Christopher Lobby. Lisa Marie LeBron. Destiny Alyssa Laredo. Jonathan Trace Lyle. Noah Campbell Little. Leanne Nicole Maldonado. Natalie Janice Marshall. Jennifer Martinez. Noah McCormick. Alana McRae. Matthew Medor. Joshua D. Marishoff. Hannah Marie Montoya. Macy Michelle Moore. Brett Moores. Michaela Morales. Alani Tatiana Mosqueda. Simeon Samuel Newman. <clears throat> Rachel Jade Nichols. Lindsay Olivia Paquin. Kimberly Nicole Patterson. Ellis Charles Pauly. Ariana Daisy Pills. Myrna Perez. Jaden Liana Peters. Neva Phillip. Mallory Diane Pitts. Kenley Brooke Pointer. Hannah Jade Potter. Brenna Mackenzie Pridgen. Angel Ramirez.
Bianca Angelique Ramirez. Victoria Elizabeth Ramjit. Giselle Soledad Reynoso. Rachel Nicole Richter. Emiliano Rios. Elisha Rose Rivera. Amaris Lene Robinson. Christian Eric Robinson. Riley Paige Robinson. Savannah Raylene Rye. Akib Mohammed Salim. Brian Sanchez Jimenez. Stefan Fayaz Sattar. Liam Coleman Schechenberg. Kiera Ann Schilling. Elijah Matthias Schmieg. Antonasia D. Seawright. Jada Lee Schaefer. Brantley Scott Sherouse. Leah May Shira. Catherine McKay Skipper. Sydney Joy Slagle. Sean Gabriel Smith. Alexis Kennedy Southard. Catherine Deanna Sparrow. Isabella Ray Spruill. Joshua David Stagy. Wyatt J. Stegmeyer. Emily Sudemeister. Gavin Anthony Tanner. Gwyneth Anna Taylor. Savannah Grace Taylor. Heather Renee Thomas. Nicholas Christian Tony. Emily Juliana Torres. Jocelyn Torres Garcia. Leonette Andrea Torres Oliveira. Yelimar Torres Rivera. Andrew Dylan Turner. Victor Antonio Urena. Jose Varela. Jonathan Velasquez. Rio E. Vertoli.
Alexander Edward Walker. Zachary Bryce Walker. Natalie Rose Warren. Caitlin Brooke Watkins. Alyssa Diane Webster. Walker Jackson Weeks. Marissa Paige Wentworth. Lauren Denise Wilcox. Heaven Sincere Willis. Michelle Lynn Wiltsey. Kenna Brianne Yale. Mackenzie Alexandra Yodonis. Clayton Kai Young. Noah Fox Young. Alexa Christine Zeller. Jordan Renee Ziegler. Taylor Renee Ziegler. In conclusion, class of 2020, we know this isn't the way you were expecting graduation to go, but take a moment to celebrate your accomplishments and all the hard work you put in. You made it happen. I read a quote a couple of days ago and it reminded me of our class of 2020, and it goes, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important and capture the good times. Develop from the negative, and if things don't work out, just take another shot. See all class of 2020, remember these words as you go on to be local, state, and national leaders and accomplish great things. One, there will always be obstacles and barriers you will have to persevere. The bigger your dreams, goals, and aspirations, the bigger the barriers, obstacles, and valleys you will have to conquer. Two, no matter how educated, talented, rich you become or believe, how you treat people ultimately tells all. Always, I mean always, do good by people and good will find you. And last, remember this, life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. You can see the glass half empty or half full. Thank you for a great two years. Congratulations and best wishes class of 2020 and may God richly bless each and every one of you. Thank you and good night.